Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Trial of Magneto, Issue 5, written by Leo Williams. And the thing is that I was not going to cover this miniseries in general. Like, I did the first issue, I was intrigued, but as it progressed, it really didn't work for me. But the conclusion, even though there's a lot of stuff that really does not make any sense, it does sort of fix a retcon that I really hated with the Scarlet Witch. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the story actually starts off with the Avengers that are relieved that the Scarlet Witch wasn't dead because no one knows about Mutant Resurrection and they had made an exception with Wanda to bring her back but she had to keep this secret. So what we actually discover in this story that there's virtually no trial of Magneto, everything just revolves around Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch had a secret plan and she needed to go through Krakoa's resurrection process. So she hatches up a plan with her father because that's what's reestablished sort of in this issue. Where she's actually going to set him up for her own death but he's not going to do it in the first place. She's going to unalive herself. So the thing is that Wanda dies but the whole situation with Magneto which it seemed that he had killed her sort of falls apart. So what happens is Toad is the one that takes the fall. He actually confesses to the murder, even though obviously he didn't do it. He does it because obviously he's insanely loyal to Magneto and he really wants this plan to go through. But the whole situation with Toad, it's really sad how it goes down. And ethically, Magneto and Wanda are totally okay with Toad taking the fall. So what happens through Wanda's crazy magic, we get like two pretty big revelations. Now thanks to the fact that she has gone through the mutant resurrection process, even though it was established that she was a mutant, but they made an exception. Since she felt guilty over M-Day and then all the stupid stuff that she did after that, especially everything that went down during the Uncanny Avengers run, and then she tried to bring back the life of everyone on Genosha, and that went south really badly. Through a really crazy spell of the children of the principal people that had put Krakow together in the first place. So we're talking about Legion, Proteus, and Polaris. They're able to bring back the souls of about like 20 billion mutants that weren't in Cerebro's backups. Actually, the spell doesn't work with Polaris at first, and... Scarlet Witch actually puts herself into the spell because she is the daughter of Magneto, one of the main people to create Krakoa in the first place, but she's like the oldest daughter. So they sort of reestablish that Scarlet Witch is Mag's daughter. Now I totally thought that this miniseries was going to make Scarlet Witch a mutant again, but that doesn't happen. And not only that, Scarlet Witch Again, through her crazy comic book magic, she's able to create this pocket reality. A special heaven for mutants called the waiting room that if Cerebro's backups fail, this place is going to be where all their souls are going to be. So, we're going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.